What's up, everybody? It is Cashflow Nexus, the channel of faith, trading, and wealth. And today we are going to be doing some XRP analysis with Ichimoku wave uh, analysis today. So, you guys, XRP is doing exactly what I said it would. And I'm not trying to be cocky, I'm not trying to be arrogant, but I give you guys the best analysis for real. <laughs> I'm just playing. But now, for real, before I get into anything, uh, I always want to give my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ respect. And I always want to give a word or scripture to you guys. So I'll be coming out of Revelations 3, 15 and 16. Uh, I have a video that I'm going to link in the comment section below. So you guys could check out the teaching. I'm not going to do a full teaching. I'm just going to read you guys the scripture. And if you want to, you know, go check out the video on the teaching. Pause it here. Go to that teaching. If not, continue playing the video, but the scripture reads the Revelations 3.16. Oh, then because, oh, no, no, no. Sorry, my bad, it's 15. So I know your works that you are neither cold nor hot, could wish you were cold or hot. So then because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will vomit you out of my mouth. And this is Jesus Christ saying this. So y'all think Jesus is a soft, soft dude. No, he's not a soft dude at all. Y'all need to really get in your Bible and understand Jesus got a backbone and he ain't no pushover. All right. So that's the scripture I wanted to read. Uh, if you want to watch that video, link is in the comment section below. And you can check that out. All right. So I'm going to get into this technical analysis. And wave theory with Ichimoku. So, as I've been saying to you guys, it has not broken this box. It's this range between these two prices. And now, what I do like to see here, we see secret band A narrowing down, coming down, and B coming down. So, you know, that's not all bad, but it can be bad if we don't get higher you know, than this current price. So, let me show you. A, B. We don't want this. That's what we refuse to have. We can't have this. What we need to see is for this to happen. And that's B when price breaks this level here. Price needs to go this way. And we need to get back in this area to see this start forming. Then get a retest back to the upside. So we'll have an end wave possibly like this. So that's what I see for now, but you know, that's just speculation. Uh, just looking at the week, can't really do that far ahead analysis on the week chart. But I do see this as a potential move on the weekly. So we have this move. Actually, I, I have this set up on the daily. So let me actually go to the daily time frame. Look. So right now we're in this P wave uh, or this. You know, for other traders, you could call this a wedge pattern. But I do love this because this was where we held uh, held off at this uh, at support. We have this P wave wedge forming. So now for our next moves, this, if we get above here, we're starting to get our you know. Let me take off the angles real quick. We're not exact. We don't exactly have our TK cross just yet. But we are seeing uh, the Tinkinson angle up. We're seeing secret spam A angle up. And secret spam E is flat, so that's a good sign. Uh, what we need here is for this to continue up to get that. And we'll see a bullish cloud start forming. But once we break this level, around this level, we'll start getting that. See if price could get above this you know, cloud and this distance in here. So that's going to be an interesting move to make for the short term. Uh, I still have this as a big day for XRP. So be the 27th of July, how it acts here. Um, so far, I'm liking this. This is the move that I see happening. It'll be an in wave move in the P wave, which will bring us back to, let's see what price is, 27 cents if we manage to get above here. So this is the wave analysis here uh, right now we're in a range uh, 
if y'all watched my last video, I believe I, this was the entry right here, this green line to the upside. So you see what happened, we went up. So this was a good move here. Uh, now we're ranging in this area, so we need to see how price acts here. Uh, we broke out of this range, and I'll show you guys a better look at it on the one hour chart. So here, and let me go ahead and take this purple tone off. Yeah. Go ahead and put this on a four hour. Okay. I didn't think nothing. Yeah. All right, there we go. So, action. Mm -hmm. I, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't tripping. Sometimes I accidentally slip up. Aki messes me up from points. Let's go back to here. All right, here we go. So, yes, this is where we held. This is where we held. You see the range in here. We held it pretty well. And we had an end wave right here. Made it up to the E level. So now we're in this range. This is what I don't like. I don't like that the key June is flat right here because that's showing us that we could, you know, drop back down to this. The price usually wants to act as a magnet when, it, when we see the have this C clamp formation, but can't really say just yet because we have to go based off the one hour and probably even a five minute time frame. But for now, this is what I this is how I'm going to trade this particular move. I'm going to wait till we get a breakout here. Alert. Buy. Doesn't necessarily we'll get a buy here, but just letting me know that we have a good chance of coming higher there. That current move. That current high. So if we are to continue to the downside, this will be my opportunity to change here. So once we break one of these levels, then we'll see we have a bearish, a bearish TK cross here, or in bullish TK cross territory. And key, uh, price actually broke key June right here. So we could very easily see you know, price come back to the upside right here. If price holds, Above this, region, uh, this would be a good buying opportunity. For so definitely may want to start looking for buy opportunities. And this clouds are getting thick, so this trend is about to be strong. Once we break this level, this is only the the first bounce from here. So let's see how this cloud, uh, you know, holds as support. Hopefully, we hold above it and we get above this 18 cent level. Once we get above this, we're shooting up higher. Uh, I guarantee you that. So right now, this is the forecast. Uh, okay. All right, so I'm aiming to the upside for this particular move. This can happen as well, but I'm leaning more to the upside. Just know when you're in a zone, a range, uh, I'm going to say more so consolidation. Whenever you're in consolidation, this is a 50-50 move. Only reason why I'm bullish is because this cloud is pretty thick. Let's see what the RCI is showing. RCI is also showing that we're, you know, momentum going to the upside. Here, not so much, but so far we're still pushing to the upside. Here, on the one hour chart, let's see what, uh, what the RCI is showing us. That's the pop up at all. And just going, here we go. So we have both the green trend line and the purple line above the zero level. We need this green line above the positive 80 level to move higher, which I like. We have a bullish cloud uh, candle right now on the one hour that's forming. So the next 36 minutes, if this candle closes higher, we'll see higher prices very fast. Uh, let's see. Four hour, you see four hour, we're moving pretty strong as well. So. Uh, I'm bullish. 
and we just need to see how we test for this level. So once we get here, I'm gonna make this range here. Once we get in this range here at these prices, we'll see how price fares, and we'll see if we can bust through it or you know come back down and do testing. So this is another scenario from here. We'll either get a break here or a drop at this level. And we can That's what I've seen so far. I could be wrong, but uh, right now, this is what I see in the market with the analysis that I'm doing. Um, so let me go ahead and turn my phone on so we won't need an option. But that's what I see so far. That's my analysis for XRP. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on where you think the market's going to go. Stay tuned for the next video. All right. God bless and peace.